Podcast G Biff ah. AI. It's on its way. It's been here. It's incubating. It's teaching itself. It's creating a society. It lies. It cheats. It steals. It is just like humans, but no moral character. Within the next decade or so, the world will change. Will it be good? Will it be bad? We do not know, but we automatically assume bad, 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 bad. Terminator taught us the badness of robots creating robots. Yet, if you are on the cusp of this innovation, you can see massive success, I believe. I don't know what that innovation success is or how to get there, but there is a way, there's a way, and there's a will. So embrace. Do not fear because there is no stopping the intelligence that is artificial from total world domination. Humans second AI first. That's how it's going down. Watch. It sucks. Read a couple books. Electronic Trading and Blockchain. Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow by Richard L. Sandor. And this is just a book on blockchain. I've been reading a little bit about blockchain recently. This is a good one. Um, It's one of those weird ones. Like, it's set up weird. I don't know if it's a textbook or something, but... It um, breaks down blockchain, what you can do with it. And, you know, everyone thinks cryptocurrency, but there's also a lot of different things with it and the security and awesomeness of the technology. And this really didn't click to me until, like, I read this thing in the appendix, which, I mean, who would have thought, right? Um, here's uh, this title, Blockchain Reckoning, Lowering Barriers to a Just and Sustainable Future. Um, you know, it being the equalizer... The Three Amigos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Hyperledger. And all this stuff is real. All this stuff is actually really good. And I just see it taking over. I don't know when, but it's just too too good in a world that has all this fucked and weird, archaic fucking shit. Like the DMV. Also, I read... um, I bought this thinking I was going to read it. Then I was like, "Ah, I'm not going to read this. And then I just started reading it. It was really good. It's a memoir. Dreams from my father, a story of race and inheritance by Barack Obama. And uh, this was a New York times bestseller at some point. It's really good. It's written, I believe in 1995. So it's before he knew he was going to be president. And it just breaks down a lot of humanity and self identity and purpose and, what he went through and pretty much probably why he conquered being a president, right? Um, Conquering meaning he got the job, which is uh, like the biggest job in the world, the history of man, you know, you were one of 45 presidents or whatever. And it's interesting, right? But like I said, I didn't think I'd like it. I read just the beginning and was totally into it. Highly recommended Dreams from My Father, Story of Race and Inheritance by Barack Obama. Learned a lot, loved a lot. Um, Saw some movies. Um, I went and I saw Napoleon in theaters, uh, directed by Ridley Scott, starring Joaquin Phoenix, and I don't know, dude, it was good, it's long, I guess there's a longer version coming at some point, but, I mean, it's almost just like a love story with a dude that happens to be employed by the French military, is kind of what I got from it, but I don't know too much about Napoleon, except, you know, all the stuff you hear floating around you know all these tiny you got a short man syndrome he shot off the nose on the sphinx and but i mean they didn't even talk about him selling louisiana to the u.s and all that and his strategy for war was epic i mean that's why he was successful and then you know fucking loved his job too much and went back and ended up losing it all but i didn't know he was um i don't know captured but basically they send him off to living on an island for the rest of his years and that island had arsenic in the wallpaper that doesn't go on to the movie but he he does go to the island at the end well he goes to an island twice one time he escapes and comes back loses a giant war and 
his whole responsibility as a human is he lost you know hundreds of thousands if not millions of lives through history and war and battle and decisions so that's interesting but he won some too because of his war strategies which is i mean whatever not cool in his own right but i guess cool to be really good at something and then i finally saw stalker from andre Tarkovsky. and this is uh from 1979 fucking awesome it's a sci-fi and I see Stalker. I'm thinking of like some dudes fucking following his girlfriend, but Stalker was like a guide that takes him to this fucking land that's off limits from the government because a meteor hit it. And it, I don't know, super abstract, really fucking cool, fucking cinematography. Like portions are in black and white and color and fucking apocalyptic and dystopian. And I don't know. It's just a really well put together film. Highly suggested. Stalker. From Andre Tarkovsky from 1979 in Russian with English subtitles. And I saw, which I got from Vinegar Syndrome, it's part of the big world pictures. I do not care if we go down in history as barbarians, a film by Radu Jude. And this is interesting. It takes place in, I want to say Czechoslovakia. It's in Europe, obviously, but. Um, and uh, it's kind of like this lady stages like a, a reenactment of a battle and almost like telling the truth with it where these guys did a lot of the same stuff that Hitler did and it's not talked about in history. So it's a really interesting stance on that. But um, Indy from a different country, fun. It won a bunch of awards, I guess. Yeah, best film in four different festivals. And it's fairly new. Fairly new, I mean, 2018. So, yeah, Romania. Not Czechoslovakia, it's Romania. So, if you're into foreign films and, like, history you didn't know existed, uh, I do not care if we go down in history as barbarians. It was a good one. That's pretty much it. Watch out for the AI, the blockchain. When the AI does the blockchain, like, you know, you're fucked. Um, everything's right now on the precipice of getting really interesting with... Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So we shall see. Um, I don't know if that's bad. I don't think it's not good. But find out your niche and rock and roll. That being said, try your hardest, do your best. Read more books. Podcast. Ah.